Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica Cloud Videos. In this video, we will learn how to use aggregator transformation in Informatica Cloud Mapping Designer. The agenda would be what is an aggregator transformation? Group by fields, aggregate fields, aggregate cache, best practices of aggregator transformation, and a demo to show the use of aggregator transformation. Aggregator transformation. It is an active transformation. One can use aggregator transformation to perform aggregate calculations such as averages, sums against group of data. For example, you can calculate the average salary for employees in each department of an organization. You can also use aggregator transformation to remove duplicates, that is, to process only the distinct data. The aggregator transformation is different from expression transformation because when you configure an aggregator transformation, the calculations are performed based on a group of data, whereas the expression transformation returns a result on a row by row basis. To use the aggregator transformation in an R, you need the appropriate license. Group by fields. One can define group of rows to aggregate instead of running an aggregation across all the input data. To define a group for the aggregate expression, select the appropriate input, input output, output and variable ports in the aggregator transformation. You can select multiple group by ports to create a new group for each unique combination. When you select a multiple group by ports in the aggregator transformation, the data integration services uses a port order to determine the order by which it groups. For example, you define the store ID and item as the group by ports. The transformation will return the output for each item by store. Aggregate fields. One can use aggregate functions in aggregate fields. When you configure an aggregate field, you define the field name, data type, precision, scale, and an optional description, which can contain up to 4000 characters. An aggregate function can be a single function, nested aggregate function, or a conditional clauses. A nested aggregate function is an aggregate function within another function. For example, the following expression will return the sum of sales and that will in turn return the highest maximum sale. Conditional clauses. Use conditional clauses in the aggregate expression to reduce the number of rows used in the aggregation. The conditional clause can be any clause that evaluates to true or false. For example, Use the following expression to calculate the total commissions of employees who exceeded their quarterly quota. So the expression would be sum of commission where commission greater than quota. Aggregate cache. When you configure an aggregator transformation in a mapping and while running the mapping, the data integration service will create two cache that is the index cache and the data cache. The index cache will store group values as configured in the group by ports and the data cache will store calculation based on the group by ports. The data integration service will not use cache memory to run an aggregator transformation with sorted ports. So you need not configure cache memory for aggregator transformation that uses sorted ports. Best Practices of Aggregator Transformation Use Sorted Input to decrease the use of aggregate cache. Sorted Input will reduce the amount of data during mapping run and it will improve the performance. Use this option with Sorted Transformation to pass sorted data to aggregator transformation. Limit the number of connected input or output or output ports to reduce the amount of data the aggregator transformation stores in the data cache. 
if you use a filter transformation in the mapping place the transformation before the aggregator transformation to reduce the unnecessary aggregation if you use unsorted input and want to produce sorted output use the sorted transformation after the aggregator transformation in this demo we will see how to fetch the total salary for employees across each department log into informatica cloud using cloud credentials under data integration tab click on new and this will take you to the mapping page where you can create a new mapping that uses an aggregator transformation i already have a mapping designed which has an aggregator transformation to fetch the total salary for employees across each department now let's see the properties of aggregator transformation so under properties you have incoming fields these are the fields which are coming from your source you can limit the input fields by using this include include so include fields only the fields which you want to be used in the aggregator transformation you can configure here okay and that will reduce the number of fields and the fields which we which which has been discarded will come under the excluded fields okay next comes the group by ports so you will have to use the group by ports in the group by fields tab so i have used here a department number because i am going to fetch the total salary for the employees across each department number that's the reason i've given the department number over here you can have a single group or multiple group by fields which you can configure by adding a new field aggregate aggregate field it is to use the aggregate function so here i have the field name as total salary and the type as an integer precision 10 scale 0 i i i don't have an a description as it's an optional if you are going to enter a description that should be up to 4000 characters now the expression which i have entered is sum of salary because i need the total salary across each department so i have this function sum of salary validate the expression is valid okay now coming to advanced properties tracing level tracing level can be normal terse verbose initialization verbose data for debugging purpose you can enable the verbose data to get the detailed log in a session log sorted input this is an option you select when you are sending the sorted input to the aggregator transformation when you are sending a sorted input to the aggregator transformation enable this option if you enable this option the data integration service will not create any cache memory if the input is not sent in a sorted order to aggregator please disable this option else the mapping will fail cache directory cache directory is the directory where the data cache and index cache will be created this will always be a default folder that is in the agent agent folder the cache directory when you are running a mapping with larger loads you can always configure this directory to a custom directory so that it will not use the agent disk space aggregate data cache size it will always be an auto by default and you can also enter the value same way index cache size it it's also a default by default auto and you can enter the value so what is the default auto value so it will be the the default cache size for the index data cache is 2 million bytes and for the index cache it will be 1 million bytes when you are running a mapping which has a larger data set 
in that case this default cache size will not be sufficient and the mapping will fail giving the details how many bytes it requires in that case one can come and select this as a value and give the values accordingly transformation scope you have all input or transaction when you want all the input incoming fields to be applied for aggregator in that case use all input you want the aggregation to be applied only for the transaction input in that case you can enable the transaction optional this when you disable this when you disable this you are making it as required when it is required and the incoming fields are and there are no incoming fields the mapping will fail whereas when you make this as optional if a transformation is optional and there are no incoming fields the mapping task can run and the data can go through another branch in the data flow so these are the properties of an aggregator transformation the best practices to use aggregator transformation would be either using a sorter transformation in front of aggregator or using the source query to sort the data if it is a relational database i strongly recommend to use the source query to sort the data now this is the mapping i have the source then i am sorting the data using the sorter sorter transformation an aggregator transformation to calculate the total salary across each department and then the target okay i have this so i'll save this mapping i have a mapping task created for it now let's run this mapping so it's running the mapping task succeeded with three target rows that is in source i have nine rows and the target is loaded with three rows now let's see this data in the database now let's see the data in source and what is the data fetched in the target so my source would be employee underscore demo table the data fetched is nine rows from source so if you see we have for we have department numbers 10 20 and 30 so we need to calculate the total salary for employees across each department so for 10 we have 20000 20000 40000 and then we have another 40 that is 80000 for department number 10 now 20 70000 70000 lakh 40000 1 lakh 60000 and we are 2 lakh and for department number 30 We have fifty thousand, sixty thousand, sixty thousand. So for department number ten, we have eighty thousand, and for twenty we have two lakhs, and for thirty we have sixty thousand. Let's see what is there in the. Now let's see what is there in the target table. So for department number ten we have eighty thousand, for department number twenty we have two lakhs, and for thirty we have sixty thousand. So this is what we saw in the IICS side. That is nine rows from source have been fetched, and three rows loaded to the target, which has the total salary 
for employees across each department. With this we have come to an end of this video. For more reference please visit our Informatica knowledge base that is search.informatica.com and for the user guide for aggregator transformation use the below link. We would love to hear from you at support videos at informatica.com or twitter at infasupport. Thank you.